hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel if you're new here my name is betty and <laughs> it's so weird doing a video alone let me tell you guys i have really given myself the grace the energy to actually sit down here with you guys to to talk to you to tell you to clarify some questions that you guys asked on our previous video on why tyler left me in kenya yeah why could he do that <laughs> this video will clarify everything it will answer most of the questions that you guys asked and if you haven't watched that video it's the video i think the title is he left me and um, painful goodbye painful goodbye at the airport something like that so if you haven't watched it we will link down below so that you can watch it and maybe you'll understand why i am doing this video let's get to the video welcome back <laughs> so as i've said today i'm alone and i will not even this video will not even take long so it is just to clarify and give you guys some of the some of the questions answers that you guys have asked and i'll probably start from the scratch um so most of the questions that have been asked is when did i move to america i thought i thought betty works in america or why did he leave you are you waiting for a k1 visa are you are you guys now married <laughs> are you like were you i don't know like they were just I, I even have the questions right here so i'll try i'll try to answer as many as i could because most of them were surrounding the fact that why did he leave you i mean like that was the main question and that's why i'm here to answer so um watch till the end to know why and also comment down below if you guys have follow-up questions and we'll answer them together once once we reunite and the reunion video will definitely be coming soon because we gotta reunite i mean <laughs> so let's let's start from the beginning so i moved which i think we've already said this in our in our how we met video so if you haven't watched it we'll also link it and i hope i remember everything that i'm saying to link so how in my video i said when i moved to the us so i moved to the us in september 2021 and that was just right after covid it was like it was different my relocation story it is super crazy it's just so different because I moved here when everybody was still in quarantine. I had to do vaccinations for me to be able to travel. I had to like, you have to present your COVID vac vaccine and whatever I was saying, and obviously COVID results. So it was really bad. And if you guys want to know my immigration story, um, like how I moved the culture shocks, you can let me know and I can start up a small series on that so that people can understand maybe my story and that will also be able to understand our story now me and tyler um so if you guys want just let me know but anyway so i moved in 2021 um and before i moved this was my first ever international flight and international flights i would say international flight outside of africa uh, because the the other country that I had visited was Uganda. I love Uganda people. So I went to Uganda, I think in 2019 and it was really nice. I would love to go back. Um, so that was the only flight that I've ever gone with. The other, the other, the other flight was just, I once got a flight to Ambosei, I mean Masai Mara, that was all. So this was my first real flight. <laughs> so you can imagine real flights i have i've never been into more than like one hour flights uh, other than like nairobi or Mombasa, whatever word you say then now i have to stay in a flight for a minimum of eight hours 
while i was i was even googling like checking on youtube videos what should you do at the airport when you're traveling international and i feel like there was no a lot of videos that would actually explain a see if i'm you know i'm like somebody who has never traveled you know um and i hope maybe some of those are some of the videos i can also do uh like based on the story that we can start but so i traveled internationally i landed in washington dc uh actually no i went through qatar so i used qatar airways we went to doha that was like five hours from nairobi then from doha we landed in washington dc then washington now we i flew to charlotte so that was the first time checked into a hotel blah 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 there's a long story about that so i don't want to dwell over there so when i moved um and i'll talk about my visa also is like as we finalize because of course those are some of the questions that you guys are asking then we met in we met with tyler in may 2022 and all this we've already said in our how we met video so i don't like to repeat in case some of you guys have already watched that yeah so we met in 2022 then um of course like i'm not based on that me telling you that i came in september 2021 and met tyler in may 2022 that of course tells you that i did not move here with a fiance visa or a marriage visa or any couple visa like that already answers you, you your question then i'll get you like my specific visa as well um but then i we met then obviously relationship 2022 in july 2022 i visited kenya i stayed for like a month <laughs> Newlywed. my family, then came back. Uh, we did like a long distance relationship for a month. We were like talking every day. Um, then now the next year which is now last year 2023 it's when uh he decided the next time you're going to kenya i'm going with you <laughs> and i think we've maybe said this in another video but yeah so he said i'll go with you the next time i'm going with you going to kenya so previously i used to go like i would prefer going to kenya in july because we have like the summer break in the u.s uh, so this time I was like, okay, maybe not July, maybe somewhere because July we I don't know we went somewhere with this family, then I'm like okay maybe in November. So that's when now he visited November. So remember, as I've said, is my plan not my plan, but usually I still go to Kenya every year, or that are my plan. If any have been here for like two years, I usually try to go to Kenya every year. So. He was accompanying me to come to Kenya to visit. Um, so before I even get to, okay, then what happened for him to leave you there? <laughs> so let me get to, uh, let me see what I haven't mentioned yet. So people are asking, uh, what are your plans of getting married? Uh, is, are you guys not, have not applied for K-1 visa? So we have like a, um, a detail visa story that we will tell you guys um because a lot of I, a lot of things are still in progress right now so we don't like to talk about them yet uh but of course i can't speak about or whether you're going to get, going to get married and tell is not here with me um so let's start we talk we talk about that when we are together <laughs> um <laughs> So, so I'd say when we came to Kenya uh, for him to meet my family, so we did an event. So a lot of people are 
asking whether we, we are already married. So the answer is no, <laughs> I don't have a ring. Um, there is still other plans to go to Kenya again and again. Um, but we haven't done a wedding, <laughs> just to clarify. We haven't done any wedding yet. So I would say, what am I want to say? <laughs> What am I saying? Why you tell me? Anyway, so that's uh, that's like our relationship story in the background, and basically the reason that we came to Kenya wasn't like we were not doing a wedding. And of course, if we do a wedding, you guys will know. <laughs> and we'll announce it here. Okay. Um. So I guess with that, I don't like to make these videos super long so i think i would now want to answer the question of why did you leave you so i'll go back <laughs> i'll go back to what i said so personally i usually um visit kenya every year or i try okay i visit every year based on how long i've stayed here um and he joined me to come to kenya so when we went to kenya I, uh, we were, we, we were, I'm, I'm talking as if it's past tense because you guys have already seen all the videos. But when we went to Kenya, we were traveling everywhere. You guys have seen everything. <laughs> like we went to Nairobi, we landed to Nairobi, we went to Machakos to see my family, we went to the village to see my family in my hometown. We went to Mombasa. We actually, before we went to Mombasa, we went to Taita Hill, that's Voy, Salt Lake. We went to Mombasa. We went to Diani. We flew back to Nairobi. We went back to the village. We went back to Nai Machakos. We went back to Nairobi. Like it was, it was too much. There is even like days that we would say we are not filming today because it's also a lot to like you're trying to spend time with your family and you're also filming and trying to also record the moments but also sometimes you just want to chill like you just want to talk without having to like record you know like content creators can understand me but yeah so uh it was a lot of vacationing it was a lot of visiting everywhere me trying to show him everything that i thought was important to me showing showing in my pasta we never even filmed that showing um other personal stuff that we didn't film like everything so it was a lot of um vacation whatever i've already said so um once personally since i usually visit every year i felt like i needed more time with my family I felt like I needed more time with my family, like for us to just relax, for us to even talk Swahili, <laughs> for us to even talk Kamba like my mother tongue, like for us to just be, you know, like be, uh, be just like old times. So I suggested to Tyler whether I could change my flight. <laughs> I know I was crying at the airport, but I suggested to Tyler whether I could change and I'm even crying right now. <laughs> oh, gosh, guys, I need to stop crying all the time. <sighs> so I suggested to Tyler <laughs> to leave me in Kenya um, so that I spend time with my family, spend time with my mom. Uh, so good thing at that time my mom is close school as well. My mom is a teacher I think if you watched our introduction video, you already you already know that um, So she had at least would spend time with her uh, Me and my mom we are like when uh, I was in Kenya we would like go to shopping Go to do massage do our manicure like just spend time together and I wanted like because I don't like to take Tyler out all of us to manicure with my mother like I mean we want to kind of spend time with him there now I had to now be left to spend time with my family 
like visit my my sisters see their kids visit like uh, like all the nieces nephews and just like have a good time in terms of like just chilling i never recorded during that time <laughs> at all <laughs> i never recorded i was just like i was just chilling just living my life um if for if you've already like watched most of our videos you already know that for us we we are a little bit different from your normal content creators will not be like we don't want to be all over the place we don't want to like we are not here to show off we are not here to um like to show like that we like we also want our space to show like that you're not living or things like that we we're just actually just having this channel to create our memories mostly of our adventures because we realized we were doing most of those even uh even before my channel so uh so that is the reason tyler left me in kenya uh, the time that i was understanding and realizing that i need more time with my family um so that was that and soon we'll be going back as well <laughs> um but other than that so what that tells you is the question my visa most of the people in the comment section have already got it right so uh currently i'm on a work visa which means i relocated to united states for work <laughs> And that's all I'm gonna say like at this point um, but obviously as we are going to the next level as we are like uh, basically let me just say as we're going to the next level <laughs> as we're going to the next level uh, we will give you guys our story and I don't I like to <laughs> I know I've talked I don't know how many minutes is this already I'm usually already like talking a lot when I'm with Tyler, but now I'm alone. I'm like, oh guys, oh gosh, you guys are gonna listen to me for entire 30 minutes. But anyway, yeah, so I guess I've answered most of the questions. Let me see whether there's something I have left out. I guess there was one person who asked, oh, what about, oh, I thought oh, Tyler, you're going back with Tyler. What about the normal vlogs that I usually watch? So, my channel is still here we are still together <laughs> we are still together even if in long distance for now um but our travel videos will still come back in handy and we have a big surprise for you guys very very soon very very soon i can't wait to share, share with you guys the story so we have a big surprise for you guys very soon i guess let me see what else yeah i don't think um i don't think there's anything else most of the questions i've answered no i am not married <laughs> no i am not on k1 visa no i am not on a marriage visa no tyler has not break, <laughs> broke up with me if you guys want to know more stories about my migration story and also the process that will take and everything just comment down below if you're interested if you're interested to know more you can also subscribe click on the subscribe button to support our channel and follow me also follow me on instagram actually i, I used to post a lot on instagram i was like i was doing a lot <laughs> like but now when we started a channel i like reduce posting on instagram because like i don't want to kind of contradict if we are like here and not here like it's, it's gonna be a little bit confusing but i still love like i post our my girl strips on my instagram i post a lot of stuff a lot of cute stuff on my instagram so remember to follow me on instagram <laughs> at basic alite or i'll put it down below but that's all i had for you guys today if you have any more questions please comment down below or send to my dm whatever whatever you guys want and i'll definitely answer them so thanks guys for watching and see you guys on our next video bye guys